what up you guys it is sassy assassin here back with another video hope you guys are all doing well and are having a wonderful week so far it is currently september 16th 2024 and in today's video i'm going to be reacting to a foodie beauty video titled solo 10 hours travel to thailand as a fat woman so yes it has been a while since i've reacted to anything in the foodie beauty verse but that is because i decided to take a break from anything foodie beauty because quite frankly she was getting on my nerves now even though i've been away from foodie beauty i have somewhat been like attuned to what's been going on with foodie via reaction channels and quite frankly there hasn't really been a lot going on with Chantel while she's been in Thailand. It's been pretty boring. So I ha I don't feel like I've really missed much. She's pretty much been holed up in her hotel room, seal position, eating 7-Eleven and getting sick. And spreading her sick to other people. So, without further ado, let's get to. I have this video on 1.25 speed. I will slow it down or speed it up if I feel the need to do so. All right, travel day is finally here. We're heading to the airport, and it is about 1:30 p.m. First, I got my favorite scotch latte from Mug Coffee with extra ice. Here, checking in. First time trying Oman Air. I'm flying with Oman Air this time, so we're gonna go check in. Let's go. Hey guys, so I just checked in my baggages. I uh, had one big suitcase in my carry-on. I was able to check both in. Use the restroom. Now I'm gonna head to my gates for my first leg from Kuwait to Oman. And then it's gonna be Oman too. I'm gonna miss you, babe. I'm gonna miss you so much, you and the pets. Oh, just uh, take care of yourself and have a safe travels. Thanks, babe. I love you so much. Love you too. Yeah, like, goodbye, honey. Bye. <laughs> Cute. I bet he is so happy that she's leaving. He's like, yes, now I can finally go fucking around in the red room. I can shit on whoever I want to, and they can shit on me. It's probably been a free-for-all, you guys. I hear goodbyes. Oh, me too. Take care, honey. I love you. Love you. Goodbye. Those seats seem pretty small. I don't think our Chantel is going to be able to fit on just one seat. And something tells me she didn't get two seats for herself. So it's my first time flying with Oman Air and it was okay. I mean, the seats were pretty comfortable on par with Qatar Airways, I found. Um, good thing is we had a middle seat in between me and this nice lady um, sitting with me, so that was nice. Oh, 
totally gross, but there was a hair in my window. I didn't even notice until I'm editing this video. Sorry, guys. The woman sitting next to me asked if I can film out the window for her with her phone, so I was helping her with that. Look at all the desert, wow. Bye bye Kuwait! This is just filler content, oh my god. So the flight to Amman was short, so they just offered a snack, which was a curry, vegetarian curry chickpea puff and a piece of cake, and it was actually pretty tasty. And I had some uh, pineapple juice with it. I love curry chickpea, so this was actually good. The sun was setting as we were flying into Oman, and it looks incredible from a plane. What you're seeing is genuine unease and fear. There was quite a bit of turbulence as we were approaching Muscat, and I was terrified. It's pretty empty here in Oman, the Muscat Airport. Going to transfer. Some very unique sitting areas. Looks like sand dunes. So my gate is A09. So I'm gonna be looking for the A gate. Duty free store. I'm tempted to go, I'm tempted to go buy a lipstick at Clinique, but I'm gonna wait to spend my shopping money in where I'm going. Alright. A gates are this way. Let's go confirm our flight. Wow. This looks cozy. I'm out of breath, yes. <laughs> but didn't you just recently get like a skincare regime like from Clinique? I don't even I personally don't think she even knows what kind of skin type she has. And I'm not hating on Clinique either. I like Clinique, especially their black honey lipstick. But I used to like I used to use Clinique and um I broke out really bad. So I had to stop using the Clinique system that I had. I use Lorish Lorish Pose whatever and Corsex pro products as well. So, and some um others some minimalist serums so it's a mixture of like different brands but um a lot of like acne like blend like acne products whatever and just but mainly the the, the korean skincare products have really just evened out my skin i, I use a lot of like a lot of korean skincare A lot of walking. Oh, 
Oops, wrong way. <laughs> wow. What a nice airport. Seriously. We got a spa here. Doesn't look too busy. Plenty of seating. So I have another over six hour flight ahead of me. Can you guess where I'm going next? Thank Thailand. You for these conveyor things. It's not very busy here. Maybe it will be an empty flight. That would be cool. Can stretch out more. When I get to my destination, guys, I'm gonna talk more about everything, so stay tuned. Be patient. I can't wait to get there. <laughs> Have a coffee shop, caribou. The way she acts like this is just a, this is actual vacation. When we all know, just like she knows that this is just a, a visa run, is just annoying. It's annoying. It's like, dude, it's a visa run. It's not a vacation. It's why Salad Boy isn't going with you. And the way she pretended that Salad was, is act, was actually going to join her, it's like, he had never had any intention of joining you on this trip. Like, man, he wants to fuck around the Red Room. Like, hell, maybe he already found somebody else and is preparing to move them in. You never know. Here it is. That wasn't too bad. Duty free store. People waiting. All right, let's grab a seat. If there is one. I cannot stop sweating. Okay, so in case you haven't guessed, I'm traveling alone. When I get to my destination, I'll explain why. Because I forgot my truck. Don't they have air conditioning in there? Like, girl, how long have you been, have you been walking? pod in my luggage and I don't really feel like holding this up to explain but um, I'll let you know everything when I get to my hotel. We'll have a chit chat. So let's just enjoy the journey of getting to where I'm going and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Oh my gosh this nice old man just brought me my passport and I'm boarding pass because I left it over where I was sitting over there. Can we board now? What time is you left your passport and boarding pass on another table. How dumb can you get? Like seriously, how thick can you get? Oh my God. What is it? Ready to go. Babe, I wish you were here. <laughs> okay, I can't wait. I'm gonna spoil the surprise. I'm going to Bangkok. <laughs> Girl, he's already on his way to the red room. Like, seriously. He's on his way to the red room. <laughs> I'll explain everything when I get to the hotel, like I said. Here it is. I'm in the middle row and no one's sitting beside me. Woohoo! So this was the one and only meal service on this six and a half hour flight. And the salad had no dressing, the pasta had no cheese, and the bread had no butter. But honestly... <laughs> It was actually really tasty. The tomato sauce was really good and I was starving. So I ate it all. Yum, yum. Here we are at the busy airport in Bangkok. I'm gonna have to get a SIM card soon. Well, 
knowing that she had problems with her charger, she should have also gotten a charger as well as a SIM card. All right, I got my SIM card already, and that took like two seconds. So, and it was cheaper than I thought. It's like 1200 baht for 30 days of unlimited 5G data and calls. All right, we have to check what carousel our luggage is coming on. It's a very big area, but that was a blast. Our breeze, and did you know that it's 60 days now for a tourist visa here? Okay, let's see. Uh, where's Oman Air? Yeah, where's my stuff? <laughs> I get nervous. All right, going to see if my bolt ride is here. Let's go see. Bangkok Airport for now. It's so humid, I'm sweating buckets. So, I just wanted to get to the hotel after this long travel. I had serious jet lag and I was so nauseous. I, I was coming down with something and because of the traffic in Bangkok, especially in the morning, I had to endure another hour and 10 minutes ride from the airport to the hotel in the back seat. And I just had my eyes closed the whole time in between filming these little clips for you guys because I was so nauseous. I don't know how I kept, held my composure, but I somehow did. Okay, when I say I was literally almost starving, I swear. <laughs> I haven't eaten in like 11 hours and like running around the airport. Now, I know I said I don't like eggs, but have you ever had fried eggs this way? Like with basil? Anyway, this is all halal. And uh, I'm gonna like eat because I'm so hungry. I've been craving Thai food. It's minced chicken with basil, fried egg and rice. I'm so hungry and like chili. So I'm gonna eat this, shower and sleep and I'll see you guys. I wanted to film more on the ride back, but I was so tired. Oh, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, I really needed that rest. These pillows are so comfy, oh my gosh. Hey, CPAP. I smell Thai food everywhere. There's a place here across the road I want to try. I think it's for food. We're going to try that one of these days. And there's these little fishies. Isn't that cute? I'm probably the only person who thinks fish are cute or no? Hello. <laughs> It's like a jacuzzi for the fish. <laughs> it's hard to cross. It's hard to cross the street because there's constant motorcycles going around. I want to see what this lady is selling. I'm curious. It looks like fruit, maybe. Oh my gosh. And I'm like on a side street too. You gotta, you gotta fight for your right to cross. What is here? Oh. Garlic and vegetables. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. I don't want to get run over by a bike. Oh my gosh. I gotta get over. Here's the 7 Eleven. This here is a spirit house. They give offerings out front of every establishment. They believe that it. I will say this I, I like seeing some of the parts of Thailand that I'm seeing. Like, Pretty interesting so far. But of course we all know that we're not going to see much of Thailand because Chantel is going to be holed up in her hotel room for most of the time. And it's such a freaking shame. Like if I was in Thailand, I would be seeing as much as I could. I'd be barely in that hotel room. I mean, I get it if she, she gets sick. And, you know, you don't want to be spreading what could possibly be the Rona. You know what I mean? Like. But like, you're you're uh, even if you're on a visa run, like you can make the most of it being on a visa run. Make it into a vacation. Like seriously. Gives protection. So, whoa, whoa! Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm gonna get hit by a freaking. Okay, I want to see what they have down here. Now they used to sell these little donuts. Yeah. Is this the donut person? <gasps> yes, the donuts. Okay, so we have. Wow, you're really willing to be hit by a motorcycle just for some donuts? Girl. Uh, four bots each. So we'll get five. Yeah. Uh, five, please? Five, please? Yes. Uh, you can 
Sure. Yeah. They're so good. <laughs> Uh, do they come with a sauce? A sweet sauce? Yeah, uh, yes, please. Yeah, sweet, sweet sauce. All right, now I'm going to 7-Eleven to see if I can get something for my sore throat and some snacks for later, because so I'm not going to get, like, a real dinner. 33 baht for laundry detergent, so I can do it in my sink. <laughs> so this is very popular. Yadam. I'm going to try the original for now and see how it goes. It's an inhalant. Now for my throat. This is all cough stuff. I can't read Thai. <laughs> cough drops? Hmm. Lozenges, there we go. Okay, let's, um, antiseptic. Let's try this. And let's try... <laughs> what are these? I don't know. <laughs> So let's try some of these 45 bots. Okay, I'm back from the store <laughs> and I'm super hot. Wow. <sighs> All right, it is humid. It's not even, compared to Kuwait, it's like not even that hot. Like when I landed yesterday, it was like 28 degrees, but it's humid. So it sticks, you know? So. All right, um, I picked up, you saw what I picked up? These donuts, these little, they're like fried dough with this like sweet coconut pen. I think it's like a pandan sauce. So let me just try one for you guys. Peabay. Just what this, this bitch needs, fried dough. Type two diabetic, like almost, ready to lose a foot and she's re she's going to eat fried dough and then later on she's going to be hitting the 7-eleven how many freaking times to get her cheese toasties and her little hot dogs for i mean my god girl i wonder how much weight she's gonna gain on this trip like seriously she's barely getting out as it as it is during this trip i wonder how much weight she's gonna gain I won't even tell you. I got a few. They're super cheap and I wanted to like support their business and stuff. So, um, I got a case of water, which I lugged all the way here. So I have to put that away. Um, I needed a new charger. So I just got one for 99 baht. I love how their drinks come in this little bag. So I just put ice because ice will feel good on my throat. And actually, I'm going to pour one of these bad boys, zero sugar, in it. I think it fits a whole bottle. Yeah, it does. Exactly a whole bottle. Okay. They were out of the cheese toasties. They sell out fast, especially since they've been viral on social media. These are super cheap and they're super good. They're like ketchup chips. I got these antiseptic capsules you saw. I think it's ginger and like herbs and stuff. I can't even read it, but it probably works. I got another zero sugar Pepsi. I got some of these things here. I see people drinking them on social media. People who live here, they're very popular. Vitamin C, which I do need. Let me try it. Tastes like orange juice. That's good. Okay. I got a couple of these spicy noodles. It's the closest thing to soup I could find around here right now. These throat lozenges. We'll give them a try later. Now this laundry detergent. I think it's laundry detergent. Oh, it's actually dish soap. <laughs> I'm going to be washing my clothes with dish soap. I don't know. Because I'm too cheap to pay the laundry fees. 
I don't know, last time I got my laundry done, but maybe I will again. But anyway, soap is soap, right? Whatever. It was buy one, get one free. I'm such a mess. Okay, I got a little body wash because um, I actually forgot my body wash. And then I'm going to try this. This is super popular. I think it's called Yedum. Yedum. It's an inhalant. Um, compound herb inhaler. And use inhale once for the symptoms of vertigo. So it's menthol, camphor, bomiol, eucalyptus oil, and other herbs. And people say that this is addictive to inhale. See, it's like a little pouch with the herbs. Let me try it. It smells like Vicks. I need that right now. Because oh. I do feel nauseous. Oh yeah, that's smart. Get something that's addictive. Because, you know, you have a very addictive personality and, you know, that's exactly what you need right now. Just and dizzy. Ooh, that really gives you like a kick. But these are super popular amongst Thai people. And I've seen a lot of expats who live here, like talk about it. So, all right. And then I got my hot bag of food. So you have some halal, the infamous halal wieners. Oh, she didn't give me any sauce, chili sauce. Oh well, sometimes they give you chili sauce. So it's basically just a halal sausage on a stick. See the halal mark here? These are cheese ones. So they're probably made with chicken, I guess. But they're so good. I just got a pack of those. Bismillah. Mm. This will be my dinner. I also got one of these. Chicken burger. Spicy chicken burger. Also halal. You can find halal food. Anyway, this is cheap, cheap, quick, and, you know, they're really good. It has like a mayo, and they heat it up for you. But my body is not really that sore because I, like, um, I had a nice hot shower before I went to bed, and that really helped my feet and my back. I took my medications. I rubbed myself in the like Asper cream type of medication cream and I, I slept for a while I slept for a good eight hours um but I kept getting up and having to run to the washroom I think the thing I ate the chicken with basil actually I don't know if it gave me like stomach illness but so the way they do the minced chicken here is a little different than what I what I'm used to they like chop up everything. There was like so much bone and cartilage in that meal. I'm sorry if it grosses you out. But one crunchy thing and chicken and I'm done. And there it was like all crunchy things. So I think they just chopped up like all the dark meat, like the leg, there was skin. Like it has to be pure breast for me or else no. So <laughs> that's just how I am taste wise. I'm not used to it. Like the other type, like they just eat, they don't mind. Like it's not, they're not like, you know, like that. They don't care. Um, it's chicken is chicken, you know, it's food. It tasted really good, but it's just a texture thing for me. And the way I was raised, I can't do it. Like, you know, so, um, yeah, I was pretty much raised on chicken breast whenever we ate chicken. So that's just, uh, just not for me, but it was still good. The other stuff I ordered with it was good. I had like a little pastry. It was really good. So yeah, I'm not downing it, but I'm sure it's, it was a really highly rated popular restaurant. So, but yeah, um, I find there's two different types of people in life from any culture. Those who don't mind the whole chicken and eat like the bone and clean to the bone and everything. Sometimes chew on the bones, eat the bones. And then there's the white breast only people and like no weird things in your chicken. So yeah, even chicken wings sometimes are risky for me. So, but anyways, <laughs> um, so I'm going to just like start cleaning up and unpacking and stuff, edit this video for you guys, try to go live as soon as I can. but. It's so busy out there on the streets. It's just like, you know, it never sleeps out there. And there's a really cool restaurant across the way. Maybe I'll have try dinner with you guys tomorrow. So be sure to be on the lookout for live streams because um, you have to keep me company. Oh my gosh, I didn't even talk about... Let me finish my wiener. I didn't even talk about why Salar's not here. Because of course she's going to leave that till last. We all we all know why Sal is not there because a 
can't afford it. And B, he doesn't need to be there. And C, this is a visa run. Now, I don't think he can be there. I don't think he wants to be there either. He wants to be fucking around in the red room. Salah is not here right now because he had a um, last minute emergency. He has to stay in sure. court for. And, um, sure, he does. That I won't talk about. It's personal. Last minute emergency in the red room. A pretty shitty emergency, right? Um, so he has to stay behind for a little while. Um, so, um, but yeah, it's just, it's fine. Um, he's going to deal with it. And, um, inshallah, he will meet up with me as soon as he can here. He's going to book his flight, um, as soon as he can and, um, meet me here. You know, I'm going to be here for, we're going to be here for a little while, but it's really too bad. You know, um, he, had to change everything basically so um luckily his plane ticket was refundable but for a fee but whatever um so he's gonna just book rebook his flight whenever he knows when he can come so hopefully soon i don't know exactly when it just you know it was an unforeseen thing that happened in his life and but you know i offered to stay with him and he was like no 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 you know just i know you really wanted to go because i don't get out when i'm in kuwait because of the heat and i wanted like a little bit of reprieve um and honestly, we really like Bangkok. Like, I, I don't know. I didn't think I would want to come back because we stayed here so long last time. But whenever you're away from it, like, it's a vibe. Like, I don't know. Like, if you've ever traveled to Bangkok or to Thailand, you'll know it's, like, addictive. I don't know how to explain it. It's, like, just a really affordable, really nice vacation place. And um, there's so much, like, to do. It's just, like, I don't know how to explain it. But, yeah, I feel bad. I miss him and the pets so bad, but I'm glad that he'll be there with the pets to take care of them longer. Um, they'll be at home longer. Like, I left him, like, a whole, you know, book on how to take care of them the way I do. He does, too, but, like, I'm their mom, mom, you know? So, um, anyway, so that's why. Jesus Christ, you hadn't, you never, you, he had never had any intention of coming. Which means, I don't know why you didn't get Julia fixed. You could have gotten Julia fixed and he could have been there to take care of her. Legit does not make sense. Why? Um, that's it. He'll, he'll come when he can. Uh, inshallah. It's, you know, in the hands of God right now. Um, but he's okay. And I think I'll be okay. I'm, I am lonely and it would be easier to travel with Salah. Um... It's not the same without you, babe. <laughs> Just everything reminds me of you here, you know? But um, anyway, you know, we never have any time apart. So maybe it's a little good for us, you know? Um, so we're going to bees. We're going to Thailand bees. <laughs> now, this was just like an in-between trip. So like all of the places we were planning on traveling to, we were actually planning on traveling um, December, maybe the end of November, December, something like that, because the places we want to travel to are hot like real hot we're hot like it's summer you know like and you know like egypt morocco um malaysia places like that malaysia is kind of like thailand but we just really 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 wanted to do like an in-between like i was like itching to get out of kuwait a bit because of the heat so i thought this is the easiest i know this place i've been here i know what to expect that's like less stressful for me than not knowing you know so yeah like having to learn a whole new culture and everything on my own so yeah i just thought like this is going to be better for for us right now we're just going to do a little detour like a little in-between trip to thailand um we love coming here now so and then um we'll still inshallah like travel like we planned before and do those places but just when like in the winter basically we want to spend a good solid like month month and a half in kuwait in the winter to show you guys like do a lot of camping and a lot of outdoor activities like that you can't do in the summer but yeah anyway this is gonna be a really long vlog i'm gonna eat my dinner try medicate myself edit my vlog and just relax and i'll see you guys when i see you bye guys That's we all know. It's just so ridiculous. This whole 
situation is ridiculous. Knowing what we know now. And now she's extended the trip. Like, girl, you've just been sitting in that hotel room, literally doing nothing. And not, for what? For what? I just think she's she can't get out of get out of there yet. I think there's something wrong with the visa. That's just my humble opinion. But anyways, that is it for today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Toodaloo, my loves.